Hello folks, this is lesson 79 and uh, today what I'd like to do is, is, is I'm trying to do a, a, a sort of a, I like doing sky so it's a sky experiment if you like and uh, just see where it takes me. Uh, it, may, it might go pear shape, I don't know, but we'll see. Th these are the colours I've got to you, winter red, uh, uh, winter blue red shade, a list crimson and raw sienna and probably one or two bits of other things as we go along. But but that that's that's what we're starting with, and and what I've got just here is what is it? I've I've got a piece of tape. What I've done, I'll, I'll show you some, some tape. I can find it. Tape. Here we are. Piece of tape like this, and uh, I pulled the piece off, and I wanted to protect this area while I'm doing this guy. That and what I've done. He's got the middle of it, and and and. and on it like that and what that gives you if it's fastened down onto the, onto the paper it gives you a, a right raggy edge on the top and a flat edge on the bottom where it meets the sea no, 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 not complicated but easy I like easy so that gives me that, that basis of it's, it's something it's a, some, some bit of sea in here and a, and a bit of sky and that's it we'll take it from there okay so I'll just wet this area uh, first That'll give me a start, won't it? Nice clean water. And uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Just all over. I mean, we've protected what, the, what this piece I wanted to protect down there. That's, that's pretty straightforward. The last lesson I made, I, I got carried away and I put too much water on straight away and, and uh, it took me ages to get to get to get it dry again so I could work on it properly. So I'm not putting as much water as, on, as I did on lesson 78. But we'll just see how we go. We've got, we've got a, a film of water covering it like that. And it gives me time to sort of do anything I want to do in the sky. So I'm going to start with Let's put in some, uh, I think alizarin crimson in there to start with. Oh, yeah, alizarin crimson across here. In fact, I've got some, I've got a bit of a mix here of, of a small mix of cabin red and cabin yellow mixed together. And that does leave an orangey cover. So we'll, we'll put some of that in first, I think. Now that's better. I want that colour. Of course this will some down, come down to the water won't it as well. We'll get this reflected. where we go and then at the top in the sky I want, I want to put a bit, a bit just to introduce some some blue into it as well and put some raw sienna in amongst this. It's quite a complex sky, but if you just follow it like see holes in this and, and, and put colour into it, we shan't be far out. The light is back like this, it's, it's, it's coming from the, the centre here, so we'll, we'll, that's where we get our light from. Uh, that colour up there. Right, that's the, 
base colour. I'll put a touch of this blue down in the in the bottom here. And then put some little bit darker stuff. I use this this raw sienna and I put a touch of burnt sienna into it and, and darken the darken the thing a little bit. some of the light that's in the centre of this, the painting here. I want to give a, an effect of glow in certain areas. So I'm taking, taking the paint out. Let's see how we go. Right, I've got some, the, I've got the Elysium Crimson and the uh, winter little red shade. And I've, I've mixed a, a touch together. Let's 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 see if we can get a touch of that. And introduce some of that up here. It's quite a dry mix. This is. Roll the brush. And then in the in the middle section you know, some some more a little more to burnt sienna with that that colour there that we've just done the the mix of the illusion crimson and the Winds of Blue Red Shade. Just a, I want to give a darker impression of that across here. That's not strong enough. It's too wet. It's too wet. Let's give it a bit stronger. Keep it going. I'm not talking much, I uh, hope you don't mind. I'm being quiet for a change. So I'm just enjoying, uh, enjoying my fiddle. It's a multicoloured sky, folks. This is what it is. A bit lighter here. Get some light into it. Put some winter blue red shade into that mix. Should make it quite dark here. Quite a dark mix. So it's a, it's a sky with variety. I think we'll transfer some of this colour down into the water, shall we?
tell you what would be nice in this if you could put some crepuscular rays coming down here. Let's, let's try a bit of that. Clean water, folk. Just clean water on a, on a dodgy old brush I've used for years. And let's see if it'll fetch it out. Clean water each time, just whip a, whip a bit of the colour out if you can. It's just a stiff brush, that's all. Shall we just here? Right, get that out of it. I'm going to dry that a bit. So a bit more orange in there first before we dry it. Let's get a brush for some orange. That's the red and cabin red and cabin yellow mixed together. Burn through that with the sunlight coming through there, that's right. Right, mixing colour again, folks, now. So we've got this steady amount of sharpen some of these edges of these, this cloud up this, in the foreground here. We'll sharpen it up a little bit. Use some of that uh, winter blue red shade. With a burnt sienna. Should darken that up a bit. Especially near the bottom there where the, the, the crepuscular rays are coming.
roll the brush sometimes, that makes you a nice cloud, it does. Because if you try and paint it like that, you, 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 you'll not manage it. But the brush will roll will make you a nice, nice clean edge on the, on the, on the, on the, uh, the cloud you're trying to paint. The, I'm trying to affect this cloud. It's across the sky. I want to vary the colour slightly because it's, there's all sorts of colours in that sky. Let's, let's try and reproduce some of these colours we've got. So we'll go with that, that might do. I'll take this down to this this, uh, this cellar tape. I know it's not cellar tape, it's masking tape, isn't it? I'll take it down to the masking tape, and that'll be a dodgy cloud if you like. Just keep rolling it in. Then we'll have a, a bit of a, a sh shadow area, if you like, a, a bit of a. Let's just get on the top of this here, we'll, we'll get some edge on that one as well. Nice bit of a glow up there, keep that glow. Just picking out certain areas which improves the sky. I want to put some of these colours down in this down in this water here so we get some of this this dark. That's the right dark, is it? I'm just swimming across on the on the top of the rough paper here just to give you a, a touch of a variety of colour there coming from the sky because it's, it's it's a reflection isn't it so let's reflect what we've got upstairs a right dark there for it again there Real dark that one. I try a bit more dark and uh, to dark it a little bit more. This is the winter blue red shade and the the burnt sienna. Let's see how we go with that. I 
bit bluey. It's a bit bluey. More the more of the burnt sienna in it. Make it more browny. Yeah, you can try and pick up some of the blues as well, don't we? Up there. Pick up the blues. I think we'll paint some of this right up, right up to where the, the 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 hills are. I love experimenting like this. It's, I never know what I'm going to get, and sometimes it's horrible, and sometimes it's okay. So you you pay your money, you take your chance. A bit more brownie on that. strong that See what we've got now with that. Right, that's dry. Let's, let's pull off the little bits of masking tape we've got on, shall we? See what, see what, see what we finish up with. That looks all right, doesn't it? We'll put some uh, headland in there. Let's see how we go. Smaller brush for this. Number six will do. I, I don't want it too strong. This is. We'll see how we go. Let's see what we give the base coat to start with. Backlit. I think I've talked less in this than any of them. I'm still having fun though. I've got to go there. Bit of a highlight on the top there. I'll slip this one in here. So now it's, it's going to be pale because it's further back in. So we, we, we're very. Put more water into our collar and pop this one in as well. Could be weaker than that. In fact, I might introduce it to blue into that one.
push it back a bit further. Now this one here, this front one, we've, we've got sculptured a bit because it's, which is now facing it. Now the light's coming from here, this area, isn't it? So they've got some darks on this side. This is that. Uh, this is that same mix I've got. This is the Windsor Blue Red Shade and the. Uh, Burnt sienna. It's, it's it's nothing complicated. It's just I've kept, I tried to keep to a limited palette because it uh, well it says Mr. Melbourne's out and it and it's and it it doesn't get complicated. You're painting. Bring this this front front penometer what do you call it promontory brings it in front of the the other one. In other words, the colour says I'm 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 in front of that. I'm bigger than that. I'm better than that. This is the the one that's more important than that one in the background. It's, it's background stuff, but it, it just looked a bit unpainted, if you like. So I think we should give it a bit of a bit of interest. Uh, so, well, what shall we have? I think we'll have one or two little boats in, shall we? Just to uh, to give us a bit of sparkle. You'll not see much of it, it's just it's just a suggestion. That's dry now. This one's got a red sail, this one. Yellowish ale. Yes, that dirt there, I think. reflection I think we'll have a white one shall we so we can pick up some white this is I'm um, using some gouache this time folks this is it's a, a sort of a, a, a solid color uh, it's handy but if you want to put on something like that it it shows you uh, just it shows you like uh, it's a permanent white, this designer gouache it's called. And hopefully it'll it'll cover what, what I want to what I want to show. 
put one just here where that dark bit is. Now let's see if I can get a smaller brush and put to that's the one I want. Clean that one up. And we'll put the the whole of this boat in here. This one here will have a, a dark hole in right? Keep it dark, something dark. A bit of paint green, I'll just stick that in there and see, see if it'll, it'll give me what I want. That yellow's not showing up very much there, is it? The yellow seems to be gone into, 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 the, into nowhere. I want to show you that, that yellow reflection there, the yellow. We need some goals, don't we? It's a, it's a social scene. We'll, we'll have a couple of goals, or, or three goals, in you know, or one goal. One up in the sky up here, like this. And I never have two, it's got to be an odd number, folks, so we'll have another one somewhere. I'm not still on top of that master for the. Uh, I think about here. Should do, I suppose, is as we've got the gouache on the go here. I might put a bit of sparkle on that water. Just about. This is gouache, folks. I'm just treeing across the surface of the water.
That'll do. I'm starting to go mad and that's not, not a good idea. Well folks, that's, that's a sky picture. Uh, a bit complicated, but uh, if you, skies, some, skies sometimes are complicated and they, they, they come up with, with different kind of clouds, different formations of colour, blue to the top, there's even purples in and shafts of light coming down and, and the, the scene below is just going to fill it in and that's giving a little bit of interest on the thirds for you and uh, I, I hope you liked it folks, this is, uh, this is it for today, we've done, uh, thank you for joining us this is lesson 79 uh, give us a like and subscribe and, and we, we'll keep going and, and put more and more paintings on whatever you like you might like some of the some of the ones that we're going to do in the future so until then folks bye bye <laughs>